used in Excel to construct a climate graph. First step, get some data. Here's some data here. So we can highlight it all, right click, copy, and we're going to paste it into a spreadsheet. Now, we need to highlight all the data, insert, and let's do a column graph. Now, we're going to change the x-axis, so we click on the x-axis, we right click, we select data, we click edit where it says horizontal category axis label, so the x-axis, so edit that, click where it says January, hold down shift, click where it says December, press OK, and press OK again. And as you notice, the values have changed to reflect the months. Now, we need to change these graph types. First of all, we're going to change the mean, and we're going to change that to a line graph. So we just click change chart type, click on line graph, and it's changed. However, we need to swap the colors around. So for the bar graph, we right click on the bars, we right click, format data series, fill, solid fill, and we change that to blue. And for the line on the other hand, we right click, format data series, line color, and solid line. Before we change that to red, we also need to do something else. We need to go back into series options and change it and click where it says secondary axes. And what that does, it creates two axes. Now, as you notice, these are not in line with the, with the lines. So we need to do something to make sure they are in line because it just looks a little bit more of a polished finished. This one's quite simple. We can make them exactly the same, have to go up to exactly the same figure. To do that, you click on the one that we want to change, you right click, format axes, maximum we change to 40. And there we have it. Now we need to do a few little things before it's completed. We need to add some labels. So we have layout, chart title, above chart. I'm going to call that a climate graph of the Sahara. Desert. We're going to add some uh, x, label, x, x axis label, so primary horizontal axis, title below axis, and then call that month. And now let's add some axes on the side. So vertical axis, rotated title. Remember that one is daily mean temperature. Celsius we can move that a bit so it looks a bit neater and the other one axis title primary vertical rotated title I'm going to call that precipitation millimeters now this one they're the wrong way around However, it doesn't matter if they're the same, but make sure that if they're not the same, the values on the y-axis aren't the same, they are the right way around, so it's easy to read off. And there we have it. Just to resize accordingly. Just make sure it all looks the part. I want them to move that up a bit. Give more time. I think I might resize this slightly. More across. And make it bigger. You can also do some things to the graph, bar graphs to make them a little bit bigger so we can just format data series um, separated so we can almost decrease the gap something like 25% and the bar graphs become bigger. We can also change the thickness of the line if you wanted to. But I think this one looks fine. All you need to do is copy and paste it into a Word document. And that's how you draw a graph on Excel.